How attractive is the Browns' head coaching job? Some say the Browns' head coaching job is a great opportunity for somebody. And other people say that it's a really, really terrible opportunity. You'd never want to go to the Cleveland Browns to be their head coach. And to me, I think the answer, like most things in life, it's not one extreme or the other. The answer is probably somewhere in the middle because that's usually how life works. And so on one hand, there's a report that the Patriots' offensive coordinator, former Denver Broncos head coach, currently the Denver Broncos offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels, there's a report that Josh McDaniels would be eager to work with the Cleveland Browns quarterback, Baker Mayfield. And it makes sense to me. I don't think people realize when they talk about Baker Mayfield, everyone's very, very negative and pretty down on Baker Mayfield. But you got to understand, Baker has all the tools necessary to be a successful NFL quarterback. I think he's very eager. I think he wants to succeed. He wants to be a good leader. He wants to do the work. He wants it. He also is very talented. His arm strength, his ability, his accuracy is there. He just needs a coach to help mold him into the good quarterback he could become. I really, truly believe that all the tools are there. Baker just needs a good coach to guide him in the right direction. Kind of like clay. You got to mold the clay into a great pottery piece. You don't just turn clay. Without a good artist or a good sculptor, clay doesn't become a well-sculpted piece of art. It just is a pile of crappy clay. And without a good head coach, that's what you know Baker Mayfield is. It's a lot of potential. But Baker Mayfield needs the coach to form him and put him in the right direction. Now, the flip side of this, that's an optimistic point of view on the Browns' head coaching job right now. They don't have a head coach. They don't have a general manager. The flip side is this. Apparently, Baylor head coach Matt Rule has no interest in the Browns' head coaching job. He's interested in, you know, he's interviewed a lot of teams. He's interviewed with the uh, New York Giants. um, And uh, he refuses, apparently, to interview with the Cleveland Browns. Now, Browns fans are saying, well, he's doing that because he just wants the Giants job or he would never want to leave Baylor. And fair enough. But the reality is that Matt Rule, the Baylor head coach, the guy who took Baylor from 1-11 to 11-2 this year, Matt Rule doesn't want to work with the Browns' ownership. He doesn't trust them. Again, I go back to the answer somewhere in the middle. There are pros and cons to being the Browns head coach. You know, in one situation, you it, first of all, you have to overcome the dysfunction, the ownership situation in, in Cleveland. If you want to become the Browns head coach, you have to overcome the poor management and the poor ownership in Cleveland. But on the positive side, you also have to acknowledge there's a lot of talent on this roster. Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, David Njoku, Brian, you know, Nick Chubb. There's a lot of talent on the roster. you got a young quarterback, Baker Mayfield, who wants to succeed. And uh, it's not the best job in the world. The Browns are not. But I think some coach is going to look at the Browns' head coaching job and say, I'm willing to put up with the crappy ownership situation. The ownership has been there for a long time because there is a little bit of upside to the Browns, which is talent and an eager young quarterback who desperately, I believe, Baker Mayfield wants to succeed and so I, I totally believe the reports that Josh McDaniels would like to work with him. It makes sense to me. I would too. Uh, the question is, will a head coach be willing to, will a good enough head coach be willing to overlook bad management? Matt Rule was not. And that's a gigantic hurdle the Browns are going to have to overcome is they have a bad reputation with, of having bad ownership and being impatient with head coaches. And so the top level talent is not going to be attracted to Cleveland guys like Matt Rule. But man, if the Browns could get a guy like Josh McDaniels, Josh McDaniels has been a head coach before. He's not the, in my head, the Browns head coach is a 65-year-old grizzled veteran guy who's been around for a long time. That's not Josh McDaniels. He's younger, um, but he's worked with Tom Brady for years. He has been a head coach before. He still has a lot of experience in the NFL, and I think valuable experience. Even failing with the Denver Broncos, that's a valuable experience he can draw off of. And so... I'm curious if the Browns do indeed, you know, bring in Josh McDaniels. I say that's not awful. It could be worse. And so I'm very, very curious how things would turn out if that were indeed to happen.